What's up, guys? It's So Hill Kids, maybe three. And Andrew's still here. He decided he'd like me up to the for another week, so that's super exciting. Sam invited me back. Yeah, I'm glad he's back. Anyways, today's gonna be awesome. We're talking about prayer, right? That's the second thing on our list that we're talking about in May, so we're talking about prayer, and we're gonna dive into what that looks like. First, we've got a super fun game on the screen. Let's go play that, and then I'll see you guys after. That was a fun game. I liked it. That was a good job. G great job putting that one together. Thanks, 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 thanks. Okay, so we're talking about prayer. Yes. And there's a, there's a lot of different times that we pray. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. you have your hands crossed right. I don't. You probably didn't even notice that you had. But like, some people cross their hands. Mm -hmm. Some people put their hands like this. Mm -hmm. Some people don't do that. Some people pray while they're driving down the road. I've which like, I imagine a lot of our kids drive when they're driving. Yeah, when they're driving all the time down the yeah. road. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, so, like, you can have your eyes closed. Mm -hmm. You can have them open. We, you know, you can pray at dinner time, mm -hmm. breakfast. Yeah. You know, we pray before meals. Mm -hmm. We pray when we're hurting, when yeah. we need something. Yeah. We pray when we want something. Yeah. You know, there's there's all kinds and times and mm -hmm. places and pretty much any time that you can think of. Yeah. You can pray. Yeah. Which is which is pretty cool. Oh so, yeah. You have a story for yes. us lined up. Mm -hmm. It's gonna what, be super great. All right. So what it like? What is it? Does is there? We you know last week we've talked about hearing mm -hmm. from God. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So is there anything that we can hear from God about praying? Like, does anywhere does He teach us how to pray? Well, or yeah, we actually. Well, I mean, 
honestly. I think Jesus made it kind of easy on us because he actually literally said, this is how you pray. And he gave us an example. So we're going to be in Luke chapter 11 so today. So get your Bibles ready. Get your Bibles ready. You're going to have time before the verse. So get your Bibles ready. We're going to be Luke 11. And we're going to be reading the Lord's Prayer. How great is that? That's a great way for us to learn. Perfect. So let's jump into the verse with Haley. You guys get that. Get going. Get those movements memorized for this verse because it's a really awesome one. And we'll see you. Hey, you guys. It's Haley. And I am back for the month of May with a brand new memory verse. So this month, we are going to be in 1 Timothy 4, 8. So let's go ahead and start going over the new motions. First part is training the body so we're going to be running and training like we're running for we're getting ready to run a marathon so training the body has some value we're going to make two okay signs and then we're going to put our circles together and then we're just going to keep tapping them together so that's value and sign language so training the body has some value that's the first part second part is but being godly just put your hands together like you're praying but being godly has value. We're going to make our value sign again. So being godly has value in every way. Just point everywhere around. So training the body has some value. But being godly has value in every way. All right, next part is it promises. We're going to make our pinky promise again. It promises help. So we got that. It promises help for the life we are now living. Just point to yourself twice. For the life we are now living and the life to come. Just move your arms from the back forwards. All right, so that's in 1 Timothy 4, 8. All right, so now we're going to push it all together. So, training the body has some value, but being godly has value in every way. It promises help to the life you are now living and the life to come. First Timothy 4 8. Great job, you guys. See you later. Right, we're back. We're back. Again, Haley, thank you very much. Roger, video work. Awesome. Amazing. Great job. You know, I bet I bet our kids could help us with that. If they ever wanted to, you know, make a video of a memory verse, I'm sure we could put that it in. Great. I'm just throwing that out there. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it. Okay, so. You, you pointed me to the story. Yes. We're in Luke 11. Luke 11. And Jesus is teaching us about prayer. Like yeah. gives us, you know, not that we have to pray this way every mm -hmm. single time, but yeah. kind of gives us like an, an outline or like d a direction yeah. to pray. And so we're going to break that down. Oh, yeah. Are you ready? Oh, I'm so ready. Okay. okay. All right. I'm going to read. You tell me when to stop. Go for it. Okay. Go for it. Okay. Bibles. Luke chapter 11. Starting in verse 1. If you have this Bible, oh. it is page 1257. That's great. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Luke 11, starting in verse 1. One day, Jesus was praying in a certain place. When he finished, one of his disciples spoke to him. Lord, he said, teach us to pray just as John taught his disciples. Jesus said to them, when you pray... This is what you should say. Father, may your name be honored. May your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we also forgive everyone who sins against us. Keep us from falling into sin when we are tempted. Perfect. Guys. That's, I mean, that, that's pretty awesome. That, and it seems actually really that's, simple. Yeah, that's like... That's, it's not very complicated. That seems... Too easy, almost. There's like four four things or so, big things that mm -hmm. you just kind of covers. Yeah, here. yeah. I mean, I just, I read that and just kind of figured that out right there. Yeah, so. I mean, there's a different few ways we can break this up. So, like, here's the thing is, is prayer could be hard, right? And sometimes we might do it for different reasons, right? Like, like I want a four-wheeler. Like, like, yeah, like, Jesus, please, Father, please may I have me. a four-wheeler. Or PlayStation 5. Or PlayStation, ooh, I can only. Or one. Xbox. What's the new Xbox uh, one? One X. One X. Mm. Mm. Yeah. There's a lot of new things that we may want. And so that that's not really what this prayer is about. We can mm. pray for things that we want, but the reality is God wants to hear our needs and he wants to hear uh, things that aren't to make us feel better, 
um, but to but oh, to help us love. And others. there's a word honor in there yes. to honor him. Like a lot of times, I know I have prayed selfishly many mm-hmm. times, yeah, and never really honored who God is. Yeah, and like that's the that's the first thing it says. Yeah. So let's break down this. We've got a few sections, and Andrew, you just hit on it. What was the first one? Honor, Father. May um, your name be honored. What does that kind of like this? What is it on? Why do you have a hammer and a piece of wood? So I think it's called a gavel. A gavel. A gavel. Ah, uh, I know what yes. a gavel is. Yes. So a gavel is what a judge uses. Mm-hmm. Now, do you know what a judge is, Sam? Yes. Yeah, a judge okay. is somebody who helps like uh, make decisions on the law if somebody's uh, that withholds the yeah, law. Yeah. Yeah. They they hold up the law basically. Wait, 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 wait. Pretty sure that the Bible says that God is like the ultimate judge. Yeah. He actually. I think he is. Hmm. So we're to honor him. Like, yeah. Like in the courtroom. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, but yeah. like everybody is like, everybody please rise for Judge mm-hmm. Samuel Beam. And everybody stands up and then like gives him crazy respect. Yeah. They have to call him your honor. Yeah, your honor. So. And so like they hold him at the highest mm-hmm. level of the court. Like he is, he's like the yeah. supreme guy who's in charge of everybody there. Yeah. So, so, so we're supposed to treat God like that. Yeah. When we start our prayer, we should always start by honoring God. So we should know who we're talking to. Yeah. When we start talking to him and oh, respect yeah. who we're talking to. Okay. So then it says, "May your kingdom come." Huh. Like like a, like a crown. If I already get a crown. And, and so like a okay. So you know. like a kingdom like. Like Britain? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I was I was going to go Disney. Oh, I guess that works too. Yeah? Yeah. So, Britain works though. Yeah. I mean, there's ki- there's queen over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, do we mean like that? Like, we want we want her to come take over no, our... No, I think, I think there's a, some history so about what do you, that. So, what do you mean about, like, what does kingdom mean? I like, think when they're talking about the kingdom, they're talking about God's kingdom, which is ultimately going to come. And, well, God's kingdom is, is something that all of us Christians are in. And so when we want God's kingdom to come, we want his love and his mm. grace and his mercy and all the things that he gives us to come down to earth. Okay, okay. So he moves on from there. He yes. just moves on from there. He says, give us each day our daily bread. Oh, I got some bread. I got some bread. I got some bread. I got some bread. I don't think you can eat this bread. No, though. it's a picture, but it does look it does ooh. quite good. Is it lunch? I'm hungry. It is getting close. Um, so like, what is that? Why is he? Yeah. Why is he? Why? Why? Can you tell me why he talks about? So he's not exactly talking about bread per se. Okay. No, he's kind of, but. So it's not like two meanings, really. Yeah, kinda? he's praying yeah. for needs. Give us a day. What I need now, like we said earlier, not what I want. Don't give. Not it's not to pray for a new Xbox or a four wheeler, or for something to go right in your day. It's for your needs: food, water, and shelter. Or maybe somebody's sick, or somebody uh, is just going through a tough time. Those are the needs that we can pray for, and so that's what he's telling us to pray for. Well, you know, there's a story about the woman at the well. Yeah. You know, and it's talking about water. Mm Mm-hmm. Same thing, though, is like he says to the lady at the well, he's like, hey, I, the water that I'll give you, like you'll never thirst again. Yeah. And so, like, the bread, the the the, the life, you know, bread, food, life, like, mm-hmm. you, you got to eat to live. Oh, yeah. But, like, the word of God is, like, our bread. Like, mm-hmm. that's what we live on. That's yes. what our life, like, our foundation is built on. Yeah. And so, like, that's, yeah, it, we do never go hungry when we're... When we're in the Word. Yes. And, you know, getting Jesus the way we need to. Okay, okay, sorry. I was talking a while there. You're good. Okay, um, next part is forgive us our sins as we also forgive everyone who sins against us. So uh, that one's kind of important because raise your hand if you've messed up before. I have. Yeah, I think we all have. And, and what about, the... like, if you've ever hurt anyone else? Yeah. You've I upset have. somebody or yeah. said something you didn't mean to. And so this is talking about, well, well, that, and, and we, we should pray to God and ask for forgiveness and be specific. Don't just say, forgive me for my sins. Talk about them and, and be honest about them. And then 
work on forgiving other people because well other people can hurt us yeah like maybe if your brother yeah said something really mean to you Mm -hmm. last week and or even yesterday or even right before you yeah watch this maybe it hurt your feelings and uh made you sad um maybe you should forgive him yeah move on you know yeah okay and oh this is a really good one keep us from falling into sin when we are tempted Mm, that is good looks like you got a a picture there that kind of represents temptation uh, had to resist those cookies really good cookies now not that cookies cookies are not cookies are not bad they're not sinful but if your mom says but if your mom says no cookies cookies yeah then yeah we might be uh falling into temptation there yeah so all right so he says to ask ask god to help us not fall into temptation Mm -hmm. Well, like, what does that mean? Like, well, I mean, maybe you do have that fresh baked cookie plate right in front of you, and you really, really want them, and that's a time where we can pray, and we can say, "Okay, help me. Or, like, Sam has the new PlayStation 5. I'm not saying he does, but, you know, hypothetically, mm-hmm. you got the new PlayStation 5, and, like, I really want one. And you let me come over to your house, and then you left, and then, like, I I think, ooh, I'm tempted, and, oh, I could take this home. Yeah. I could steal it and take it home, and it could be mine. Or I just could be jealous about it all the time and be mad yeah. at Sam because he has one. Mm-hmm. But if I pray about yeah. that, then, then God would give me a spirit of contentment. Mm-hmm. And being thankful that you're my friend and that you allow me to play yeah. and instead of... You know, being jealous and wanting to steal. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Are you following? Okay, yeah. I think that's great. So those are kind of like the five points there is. Is when we're praying, we want to honor God. We want to uh, ask his kingdom and his love to come around us. Mm -hmm. We want to um, ask for provisions and his word and his foundation. Uh, We want to ask for forgiveness and patience with others. And then we want to ask for help with our sin and our temptation. And so the cool thing is in each of those, you, it doesn't have to be exactly what Jesus said, right? You can add your own specific needs, right? Maybe it's a sick friend or maybe it's a certain temptation or whatever it is. That's not, we don't just have to follow that, but we yeah. can add in our own things. That's great. Yeah. That's I'm so awesome. glad that we can hear. Yes. Like last week. Yes. From God, that He can teach us to pray yeah. and talk back to Him. So it's like a two-way. It's yeah. It's like super we. Cool. It's cool. It's like a relationship. It's cool. Yeah. So we're gonna jump into a song real quick, and we're gonna wrap it up after that. I will see you guys. Over. Who am I that the highest King would welcome? I was lost, but he brought me in. Oh, his love for me. Oh, his love for me. Who the sun sets free. Oh, is free indeed. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. He has ransomed me His grace runs deep While I was a slave to sin Jesus died for me Yes, He died for me Who the Son says free Who is free in me I'm a child Forsaken, I am who you say I am. You are for me, not against me. I am who you say I am. I am chosen, 
not forsaken I am who you say I am You are for me, not against me I am who you say I am Oh, I am who you say I am Who the sun says free Oh, it's free song and a great lesson. I mean, there's so much that we can learn about prayer and so much more for us to grow in it, right? And if we want to do this, well, we've got to make a commitment. We've got to commit yeah. to doing this. And so this week, I want to ask you guys to make a commitment and ask this question. How do you pray to God? What are some things that you pray about? Maybe there's things that you should start praying more for. Maybe there's things you should start praying less for. But think about it this week and start doing it. The cool thing is, like we said in the beginning, you can pray anywhere and everywhere. It doesn't require anything. You so, can pray about your desire to pray you and talk really to God. Can. Like you can we, ask God to give you yeah. a desire to pray to Him and talk to Him. And you know the coolest thing? God's going to hear it. Oh, yeah. yep. He God's going to hear it, and He's going to listen. And so it may not be super easy, and it may take time to adjust, but I want you guys to commit to praying, committing to hearing from the Lord, and talking to the Lord. So I will see you guys next week with our third lesson. I cannot wait to steal. See you later.